welcome back to my channel. I'm starting another series called Upscale Your Interiors. Um, in these kind of videos, I'm going to show you how to upscale um, your interior decor items that you already have at your home and uh, jazz it up a little. So the idea of this video is that I'm going to go ahead and buy the two most inexpensive lamps. Uh, the difficulty that most of us face is that um, the decor items that we already have at home are either old or they're rugged or they don't resonate with our personality. So we just throw it in the garbage. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to buy cheap lamps and turn it into something that uh, suits our personality or to our liking. So uh, I'm going to show you the clip of when I bought those two lamps and how I came to the conclusion because my budget is really tight, it's just 1000 rupees and uh, let's see when it arrives and how it looks and what we can do with it. Uh, I'm excited, are you? So let's get to it. So according to the introduction you must have seen that uh, we are planning on upscaling um, lamps. So there's Diwali sale going on and it's the best time to buy lamps, I guess. I tried to go on and go to uh, normal stores and uh, I found that they were expensive. So I thought that um, I'll check it out online and I came down to a few of them. Um, let's see which one I plan to buy. So I was going through a few of the online stores and I was going through Flipkart, flipping through lamps, cheap ones, the ones that were really cheap didn't look all that great so i'm searching for a lamp hanging one i'm getting this for 960 rupees but my budget is only 1000 so i'm looking for a hanging one and one um side table lamp so let's see i went through home center pepper fry i have been thinking about a few of them. I think in the pepper fry one, this is for six sixty nine. This is pretty good. I mean, it's a basic one, but I can actually do a lot of things to it and jazz it up a little. So I think I'm gonna go for this one, and then I have to find somewhere a lamp of hanging one for around four hundred or something, which is like this is four fifty nine. What do you think guys? I went to this, this $6.99. I don't think I can do a lot to this one. And then I was seeing a few in home center. This one $9.69 out of my budget. Ooh, I was seeing through Flipkart also. This this beige jute lamp is actually pretty nice, but I want a side lamp. Ooh! Hmm. What do you guys think? But I can't do so much to this part. I mean, it's metallic. It's the same thing that if I buy this one, right? And I can actually do a lot of things to it. Hmm. So let's see. I think I'm going to go for this and this, which is coming over a thousand. But should be good. It should be good. Okay, so after the clip that you've seen, uh, it was some time back. I took some time to... Uh, get my hands over uh, the lamp some time to arrive and plus I had to get the wires fixed and the connections fixed from an electrician so I was busy doing that all those weeks finally I'm gonna show you now that they have arrived and how it looks so this is the first that wooden lamp um, it came like this with in this box it basically had this uh, wooden plate and the second is this one. Um, it had these wooden um, plates or sticks. Um, also, it came with this connection. Then it came up with this uh, manual. So the idea of this is that um, I'm not going to be using these sticks. I'm just going to be using this, um, the upper portion and the base and uh, this wire. I got, I went to the electrician and got this five meter wire. It came with only um, 
a wire that was half a meter so I had to go ahead and uh, ask them to extend it and uh, ask them to fix a plug point to it so yeah this is the first lamp that arrived I first attached the bulb holder to the top frame of the lamp Then the idea was to make a cylindrical jute nest and attach it to the top portion. So for starters I took a chart paper of the size that I desired. Before cutting out the chart paper I took the length of the top frame, the diameter and the radius so as to um, cut out the chart paper of the same length and a height of 20 centimeters. I stuck the two ends of the cutouts with cello tape, uh, giving it a cylindrical shape. Next, I wrapped the entire thing with cling film. The reason for doing this is that the cylindrical chart paper acts as a mold and once the glued jute string dries off it is easier to remove the chart paper from it. The proportion of the glue and the water should be 2 is to 1 respectively. In the next process we immerse the jute string into the solution and then wrap it around the chart paper mold. You can let it dry for the next 3-4 hours or for the entire night as you please. Once the jute string dries off, it becomes hard and it is easy to take off the mold. And we have this nice jute string nest. Next with the help of glue gun we attach this jute nest to the top of the hanging lamp. 